Sending email doesn't have to be complicated. Laravel provides a clean and simple API to send email no matter where you are in your application across a variety of different services. But today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newest services to be included in the Laravel framework, and that's Resend. So if you haven't heard of Resend, Resend is a service to deliver transactional and marketing emails at scale. It's incredibly simple, incredibly easy to get set up and even easier because it has been now deployed into the Laravel framework. It's just as simple as changing a couple of variables around in our existing Laravel application to start using resend for all of our emails. Why don't we take a look? I have a new Laravel Breeze project scaffolded out, and we're going to show you how to install resend as well as using it within your existing application for Laravel and also a helper function to be able to send email even easier within a Laravel application. Now, I already created a new API key in my resend dashboard, so we're just going to open our terminal and we're going to say composer require resend slash resend dash Laravel. Now, after that, in our EMV, we just have to add a new variable. That's a resend API key. And then you're just going to paste in your API key here. Don't worry, I already deleted it. Now, all we have to do is change our mailer in our .env file to send it from resend. Mail, mailer, resend. This is just grabbing it from our mail.config because we have a resend transport here. We can go ahead and remove the mail host, mail username, mail password, mail encryption. We just need a mail from address and a mail from name. This is to show that there's nothing else that we need to do to enable resend in our Laravel application for anything that Laravel uses mail for. We just have to install the composer package, input our API key, and then change our mailer. Let's go ahead and create a new user. Now that we have a new user created, I'm just going to go through the reset password flow. This is given to us out of the box through Laravel Breeze, but it's a great way to show that email is set up with resend. Let me pull up my email client. There we go. Email out of the box, ready to go with a service provided with the domain that I already created within resend. But that's not all because the recent integration with Laravel also enables you to use Resend's helper package to send email wherever you are in your application. So while email is usually best used in the background, not having to wait for the server to return something before it does the thing that you want it to do, you can use Resend's email function anywhere in your application. Why don't we take a look? I have this notify page where we're just going to let our admins of our application know that everything is going good. Now, like I said, most times you actually want to send email, rarely would you ever do it in the server request itself. But for practicality's sake, this is a great way to show how to use resend's helper function in order to make this button actually work. So if we want to send an email to our apps admin, by clicking that everything is good button, all we have to do is just set this up in our Livewire Volt component. Now I'm showing this off in Livewire Volt because it's a great way to show that this is a server request, but it's been administered or initiated from the front end. To start, we can use the resend Laravel facades resend, and we'll just say that this is the send email function where you can actually call emails send and here's where we can create the email that we want to send through resend say from our two in this case we'll just hard code this value in but we could have this be a dynamic value subject everything is good Lastly, an HTML parameter. We can pass in anything that we want, but here I'm just going to pass in everything is good. We'll go ahead and add semicolon to round it all off. Then we just need to wire this up. So wire click, send email on the button. And then just for simplicity's sake, why don't we also add a loading indicator to just to let us know that everything that we requested from the server happened. In this case, why don't I set up uh, some state here that just says, this is the email status. 
Why don't we actually make this a string? So email status, and we'll just set this to blank for now. But here we'll say this email status, email sent successfully. And we'll just go ahead and render that out here. So why don't we take a look? Oops, it looks like resend is giving us an error because I haven't actually verified that domain in my account. So I'll go ahead and use one that I have. Email sent successfully. Why don't we take a look at my email address? And there we go. Everything is good. Using Laravel with Resend gives you the ability to just use everything that you get out of the box with Laravel. Mailables, queues, even things like reset password emails without having to change anything. You just add an API key, make sure you install the Resend package and have a Resend account. But it makes it incredibly simple to monitor your emails from the Resend dashboard. But in addition, you have the ability to use the helper function. Maybe if you want to do this within a controller or within a Volt component, or even just use that instead of your traditional mailables, you can do that. Laravel gives you that flexibility and so does Resend. Overall, now that Resend is an official adapter of the Laravel mailing system, it just allows you to send emails more efficiently, more beautifully, and in the artisan way.